Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Got a couple of things going on here and I will share with you as I go along. I am in my PGL planner on my iPad and I will be digitally planning for the week. I had to use these before Christmas ended. I've seen her on Instagram, Digital Gator Designs, and she had some freebies and it was just some pages that were just so adorable. I said, I have to visit this shop. Then she gave like 17, 18, I don't know if it's 25 days of Christmas, I'm not sure, but I know it's freebies. So I decided to use her freebies and try them out in my planner until I get used to them and see if I like them. And I definitely will be visiting the shop. I think I do have some uh, kits that I purchased, I'm not sure. But anyway, I love it. Thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible Journal, so can you. And I'm going to share with you some other shops and some other kits and things like that you know how I do this so I am in my PGL planner and as you can see I did my dashboard she gave a freebie and I love it I think it's so cute and then she has another one that she downloaded on her Facebook group Daisha and I'm going to change my cover just to see how it looks so I'm in this planner and I'm so grateful for Daisha she gave us this not gave us but the planner is a 2023 planner but she has an undated section for December. So I was able to kind of like start learning this planner so that when I use it in 2023, I can get used to it. So I'm so grateful for that. So it gives me some time to play around with it before jumping into 2023. So that was my monthly spread. I did do a video on that. I love this kind of monthly spread. It's just like a different way of having a monthly digital spread, and then you have the, the traditional digital spread, which is right here. So I'm going to go into my weekly plan. I'm going to use Digital Gator's designs, and it's just so adorable. Thank you for watching. Remember, if I can digitally plan and journal and Bible journal and all those good things, you can too. Take care. I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but when you find a new shop and you're getting used to the elements, especially if it's like a planning, scrapbooking kind of shop, you really don't know how the elements work in your planner and just trying to find your groove. Like, as you can see, I'm putting some elements in here, but they're like a little too large for the planner itself. But of course you can make them smaller, but I finally got my groove with it and enjoyed the process. These are great because they're so, it's so vibrant and, and great for like a large planning spread or a scrapbook spread where you can design and have this space to design. I can't wait to play around with um, more stickers from her shop. And then also they almost have this 3D effect. It's just really extraordinary the way that these elements are and how they look on the page. It's better in person, but it is so adorable and so cute. And I hope you like this process. And I love this kind of spread. And, and Daisha's planner, the planner, I'm sorry, planning a godly life planner. It's so cute, it's different. You have your weekly spread on the side and then you have your to-dos kind of like on the left-hand side. It's just a different way and I love finding different ways to plan and journal and different ways to do it and it's just always exciting for me and it just keeps it fresh and new. I'm functional, I live in these planners so it's not just pretty planning for me. I do do my tasks and what I need to do in these planners, I work in them daily. I plan to plan. So it's not just sitting around and putting a bunch of stickers on a planner, but they're actually functional for my life. As much as I am a tomboy, I'm a girly girl. So I just like things that are cute and pretty. I wanted to fill this page so much, but I knew I needed some space to write and put my errands and things that I needed to do. So probably at the end of the week, as I'm filling this in, I probably will add more stickers and it'll just look so nice, but I just had to do it. Now I'm in the faith portion of this planner and I purchased her kit called Lena and Bina Church Girl and it's so cute so I wanted to try them out I've seen them on her Facebook group and I said let me try these little ladies out so I'm going to do this spread for kind of like a Bible study or re biblical reflections and I'm just going to add the elements on there and then when it's time for me to actually study it I'll have it already set up and I put my re I'll put my reflections on it and it always looks better when it's empty and you have a planner you start writing in it whether you're planning or reflecting or something like that it just brings your writing or your typing just brings it to life and it just adds so much to the page but I try not to over 
element the page because I get happy with the elements. I just love digital planners. I love digital planning. I love digitals. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to have to curb that in 2023. Lord, spend my life. I am in my K Digital Designs free Christmas planner. I'm keeping it simple during us December because I'll be back to using all of my planners in 2023 and I'm back using Digital Gator Designs. I'm wanting to use this. This is a daily spread. The other one was a weekly spread in PGO planners. This one is a daily spread for today, literally. And so it's empty right now, as you can see, but once I fill in what I've done for the day, it'll look nice and cute and I'll post it on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me at andshare72. How cute is this? This is so cute. So I just went into my PGL planner stickers and I just got a little me time kind of bedtime sticker. It's a teddy bear and I popped it on there for the end of the night and I love it. Last but not least, I found this beautiful reflections journal. I follow this young lady Isabel on Instagram and I just love florals and it's so soft. It's like a faded pink and or lavender it's just really cute and it was free so I'm going to leave a link in the description box below for everything you see in this video the planners the notebooks the digital stores everything it has an index you can always add pages because it's not that many pages because it's really just a sample for you to try to see if you like it so I'll leave a link to her, her shop down below. I would decorate this index page. I can use it for different reflections. Pretty, pretty reflections. Not that any of my reflections aren't pretty, but like more florals. A lot. I have a lot of digitals that are florals. And so I would use that. You have the index cat tabs. And they're all hyperlinked. So it's really cute. It's very simple. I think she has a dot bullet journal one as well in her shop. But it's just a, another way to do reflections. And i just like to share with you guys things that I come across that are free and or paid so that you guys have an opportunity to try. So I'm going to do a quick process. I'm using Keys of the Kingdom kit. And I'm adding a young lady that kind of matches this kit from the Faithful Heart Shop. And it was just a scripture that I was personally meditating on. And I wanted to journal it here just to try this journal out and to do my reflections for this morning. the final results you can always put something on this little corner side here whatever you want I just decided to put reflections on his word or of his word and then just a floral and the name of the shop thank you for watching I hope you were inspired and encouraged by this video take care